Good evening. You are on with your girl Cat right now on WBKE Vegas Radio. My show is Sin City Heat, and I am here with the boss man. You the boss man. Yes, I am. You didn't look sure. <laughs> you didn't look sure about that. Because I'm partnered with a woman, so I, let, we know how far that boss status goes. Well, I said man. I specified because yeah, the, the boss, boss man's not man. here. Because yeah, she ain't here. <laughs> we got you over here, boss lady. Don't worry about when it. When she's here, I'm the servant, right? You know what? I've noticed that. Yeah, that's true. You bow down to her at the house? No. Well, well. I don't bow down to anybody. I just play my position. Oh, oh, boss lady, let me know how I can get one of those. <laughs> I don't like that. That's position, 25 like, years of training. Oh, I need. That's what that is. That's 25 lady, years of training. Write a book about right that. Write a book. I need an excerpt out of that. So let's get to it. So, okay. you in Vegas? Yes, I am. WBK Vegas Radio? That is correct. Why? Because I felt um, the radio stations out here in Vegas were missing something. They missed you. Miss me? Well, they everybody missed, missed me. I'm, I'm missed, <laughs> I'm, I'm missed all over the world. You've been in Cuba for a long time. Yo, you all right, Pac. Me. Okay. <laughs> I am not Pac. <laughs> well, I, I did not try to be, but I imitated Pac once. But did you I'm really? Pac. Yeah, I told you that. <clears throat> okay, so tell, uh-huh. my, tell my viewers. How that worked out before you tell me about WBK because that's my husband. Oh, yeah, it's Pac's We're t- husband. You know, Pac's my husband, so. Um, well, basically, when Pac, you know, was out with Dear Mama when mm-hmm. he was alive, um, a lot of folks used to tell me I look like him. Mm-hmm. Of course, Did I you have, have this? Beard. Okay, I didn't have the beard back then. You know, I just had the mm-hmm. regular goatee. You know, um, and so I didn't see it. You know, sometimes when people tell you you look like other folks, you can't see it yourself, right. but you know, other people can see it. But anyway, we were going to Free Think in Atlanta. This was back in the early 90s. And um, I put the bandana around my head like I was, you know, that was nose the style back then. All. My nose was already pierced. The left side. It wasn't pierced because of pop. My nose was pierced for a while. But um, yeah, so I put that bandana, you know, wear my white kicks, my jeans. I'm a New Yorker, so you know, we had that little swag. Mm-hmm. And I went to Free Think in Atlanta. And um, wow. How many autographs? How many? I didn't sign any autographs. You didn't sign but any I had a lot of requests. Oh my God, a lot of requests <laughs> for autographs, a lot of requests for pictures. Um, in the beginning, it was great. Me and my mm-hmm. boys loving it. Women coming up to us like crazy. After about two, three hours, I was like, is this how a celebrity lives? That's exactly And right. it was very irritating. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's one thing to get looks, but when people are walking up to you and just coming at you and grabbing on you and stuff, right. and I was like, wow, this is how... You can't even really, enjoy yourself. I, I, we really did it. So you, didn't boys, get none. so you didn't get none from the pot face? No, um, no. No, well, I've been married 25 years, so I was, I was married back then, so... That, they that, had nothing to do with the I plead a job. fifth. I plead a fifth on that. I plead a fifth. No, no, to be honest, I don't even remember if I got some. Oh, okay. To be honest, I don't remember. That, that but, might, you yeah. know, pop makes it happen. You get some when you pop. So all the homies, oh. somebody, some of your homies did. Well, I'm sure I got <laughs> some over the years because of my resemblance to that man. I'm sure. I'm sure some women have given me some time. The legend. Because, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'll be honest, I haven't heard that in a long time. To, to Vegas? To, or to yeah. WBKE Vegas? To WBKE Vegas. Mm-hmm. I haven't heard that in a long time. A, when I first got to Vegas, I was doing corporate America, so I was I didn't have the nose ring in, I was um, clean shaven and all that, so you know, then I was in suit and tie all the time, mm-hmm. so and I wasn't really out there in the scene at all, so I didn't put myself out there to that that much. Now, people who still call me Pop once in a while and stuff is all my, right. my, my friends from back home that remember, and like, yo, know, Pop wanna be or whatever, but um, yeah, I went through that for a minute. So let's let's get into this. So we're here with WBKE Vegas right now. We have Vladimir Tucson, if you're just now tuning in. He is half owner of WBKE Vegas Radio. So we're we're, we're talking about what made him come to Vegas, what led him to Vegas. We also have the WBKE South Miami, Florida, right? Or is it South Florida? It's WBKE South Florida. South Florida. Uh And we also have right now under the WBKE Media Umbrella, Mm -hmm. we have Rise Radio. Mm -hmm. Um, WK South Florida, WK Vegas Radio, and as you can see, we're currently in the studios of what's going to be WBKE TV. This is great because we are on WBKE TV. So if you're watching us right now, this isn't this isn't anybody else's network. This is your network and my wife's and the wife. They made the kids, okay? So the acronym to the to the WBKE. Can you tell my viewers what that means? Okay, the W came from W. West Coast. 
Okay, yeah, you guys use it for that. But honestly, being in the East Coast all my life, raised in New York, mm -hmm. lived in Miami, yeah. then lived in Atlanta, all the radio stations I ever knew, ever followed, started with a W. I really didn't know the broadcasting rules and regulations at the time, even when I started WBKE. So whenever, as soon as we thought about putting a radio station together, we knew it was going to start with a, a letter W. Right. We just knew that automatically. So after thinking of all the other call names and what they stand for, we just decided to use our kids, which is Brianna, Kimani, Elijah, which is WBKE. So the W we say is for world because mm -hmm. we are an internet station we and are. we are listened to all over the world, gracefully. Yes, we are. Um, but you know, um, I wanted to to use my kid's name, and it, and it just fit well because this is why my wife and I are doing it. You know, for, for our kids. kids. You know, so they're gonna, gonna make you rich this, this way, huh? huh? The kids are gonna make you rich this side without doing the work. Yes. So that's how it works out. Yeah, that's exactly how it works out. Oh, yeah, so they so. still get a cut even after they, they get grown? They still get a cut? They still get a cut. It's, it's theirs. It's their, my kids don't walk into the place without going. <laughs> they, when they see people, right, they go, if, if it's my son Elijah, he goes, like, you see a girl, like, he may see you and be like, I'm the E. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh my God, and my daughter, she'll come from Miami and be like, yeah, I'm Brianna, I'm the B. Like, mm -hmm. they this got is us. This is us. This yeah, is us. exactly. So, you know, but I'll be honest with you, that makes my wife and I very proud. That's Just it's to amazing. see that they take, they take pride in that. And That's they amazing. understand what it means. You know, they're all at the age where they do understand what we're doing. Now, they don't want to be part of it, right. like typical teenage kids, but um, they really appreciate what Mine is reverse. She'll be a part of it, but she's not giving me no kudos. I'm but not getting not. kudos, nah. But she'll do a 15 minute segment with me and everything. But she's not my mom's on the radio. She's not doing that. Well, she probably won't do that. For she me, to. But she does that for behind her back. That's yeah. okay. She don't have to. She gets paid too. She gets paid because I got to do all this work. So, oh, <laughs> so with WBKE Vegas Radio, mm -hmm. and it's here in, in in Las Vegas. It's been going on for about a year now, right? Um, yep, yeah, about a year. We just um, we just made our one year mark. I think that was May first. May first was our one year. Congratulations! Thank you. It's a big, it was a big moment for us. Big moment because yeah. you know we we heard and, and it doesn't matter what business you in, whether it's radio, but the restaurant, mm -hmm. you know, you own a storefront. Um, first couple of years. I mean, to be honest, I have heard people tell me two years, five years, mm -hmm. but until I guess until I reach that seven year mark, <laughs> I ain't really in business. So that's how I'm looking at it. Even though we in business, every even though day. I'm in business every day, <laughs> you're but not they tell me you're not stuff. really in business. Yeah. Until you actually, they say the first year is the hardest year, though. It, it, uh, I, I won't say it was hard. Um, it was challenging, mm -hmm. but we had, we, my wife and I, what we learned to do is enjoy those little moments. Right. Like, you know, signing on a new show. Um, having somebody important walk into the station as a guest mm -hmm. and, and you know seeing their face or hearing them say well thank you this was a nice experience mm -hmm. and stuff we, we sometimes you get caught up in the everyday nonsense that you don't enjoy those mm -hmm. little moments of why you created it and um, you know, we fall into that trap once in a while because, you know, in any business, when you're dealing with people, oh, my God, you're going to have headaches. But we try to enjoy those little moments. So All the time. Yes. So no vacations planned then right now? No vacations? vacations? Oh, no. Lord, that's the biggest. That's the biggest. Um, <laughs> Y'all just looking at the calendar? That's the biggest challenge. Yeah. yeah. That, that is because, you know, when I worked the 9 to 5, you know, 5.15, the job was done. Is it? I was in my car driving home. I wasn't thinking about the job or anything like that because I left that um, there. But when it's your own, mm -hmm. it doesn't stop. When it's your own, it doesn't stop. And again, the type of business we chose to open, which is again a radio station that's running 24-7, yeah. um, it makes it hard when you want to go to the beach. It does make it hard, um, especially when you didn't have a, we didn't have the right team in place. Again, right. it, we were only up for a year. We weren't bringing in that much money right. to even be able to mm -hmm. pay folks. So. Um, but those are sacrifices you make and you know you hope hey I can't take a week vacation now but hopefully I can take a three month vacation later mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying that's the that's the um, beauty of having your own and doing your own and, and be the benefit of your sacrifices it is you know I'm, I'm coming on the vacation where are we oh, going course, three months three, where are we going I'm going three months. we going we all go. Of well, course you have to we're go. All going. You we know, we're talking about the studio right or now. no? Huh? We're going to close down the studio? Oh, but see, that's where the team comes <laughs> see, you see in. What that's you, to me, that's when you run So the other people that's going to run the listen, studio. It, listen, listen. There's a certain crew, like, you yes. know, and, and again, you know, the listeners and the, and the viewers don't, don't know this, but you were one of the first shows we had on WBKE. 
So there's going to be a time that I believe where there's the foundation, the core. Mm -hmm. Those people that started with me and my wife when we were at our first location, mm -hmm. and you know, it wasn't big. We didn't have, we didn't even see WKTV or Vegas mm -hmm. Road. We didn't see anything else. We just saw that. But that core, that foundation, I hope we all on our island yeah. one day for 30 days, for 60 days, for 90 mm -hmm. days, and we just all get on our phones or our tablets. Who knows what mm -hmm. we'll be in, in what what 4S or 5S <laughs> or 10S we'll be using Z, at that time. Z3. Z3. Z3 and whatever. <laughs> or you maybe a hologram into the right. studio and, and direct everybody. You should be doing this. You should right. be doing that. But my goal is that we all have our team in place that we could now enjoy from all right. our sacrifices where we could enjoy like that, but our things are still moving. That's when you have a real business you running, you know. So that's my goal for all of us, not for just all myself. Of us. All right, y'all. We'll be right back after we pay some bills. We still got Vladimir to sign here. I'm calling you De La Vega for the rest of the show. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's San City Heat, y'all, with your girl Kat. So now we're back to Sin City Heat, WBKE Vegas Radio, and I have half owner Vladimir here with me in the studio. We're on WBKE TV right now. That's right. And this That's is great. Right. This is great. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm so excited. This is a whole new ballgame. I'm so excited. What do you want? What do you want to reach for? What you what, mean? What, what are you reaching for when we do TV, when we're doing media? Shows, videos, commercials, infomercials. What, what, do, we, what, do, you, what, do, you, what do you have for us? Um, all of that. Everything. I want all of that. I want a little bit of everything. I want, um, I want, what again, going back to what I was saying earlier about the internet, curse and blessing. I think the internet, what it does is it gives people like myself, like yourself, like really anybody off the street, as long as they have a platform where they could, right. you know, put themselves out there, opportunity to showcase who they are. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because what I realized, you know, unfortunately in this today's society, you know, you want a job. Well, you don't have experience. Well, how do I get experience if you don't give me the job? Bingo. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's that constant cycle. It takes somebody, one boss, one manager, one somebody to say, hey, let's give this person an opportunity. Right. And what I wanted to do is show, give people opportunities. Of course, for a fee. There is a fee for this. They've been giving us you know? opportunities, y'all, yeah. for a fee. <laughs> but, but you have the opportunity. Yes. And, again, maybe you could attest to this later on. We, we also show you how you make money yes. off these things. So we're not just taking money from you and saying, okay, that's it. We're showing you how to make money. You your money back right. from this but by having a voice out there and you promote right. yourself so that I want growth from this mm -hmm. I want to see people that didn't that always had it as a dream or something in their head and now they live they grow it. they live in it they I'm grow. living like, it yes you're so a perfect I thank you guys. example of that I thank the two sons for giving me the opportunity because this is something that I've always wanted to do and I kind of just like you said you got to have the experience nobody's taking you if you have no experience, I don't care how many applications you fill out. Listen, I don't care. And FM radios, AM radios, they're going to make you an intern An intern. Five, six, seven, eight years. Coffee runs, you know, coffee drop runs. the now, van. Which I'm okay with. We all got to start from That's somewhere, true. you know. But even in that world, I find it's very hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, again, um, I just believe in giving people an opportunity to let themselves grow. I, we're not doing anything that... The average Joe Blow out there can't go do. But what we're doing is we know we need a team, and our goal is to help people grow. So back to your, that's what we want from you. I want to see people grow. I want to see you on a stage one day getting your Grammy, getting your award or whatever, and you don't even need to mention me. I but know. I have to mention you. Well, of course. You have to, it's like, you gotta, of course. Look, I mean, it's like but, Pac, then I got to oh mention like God. God, then Pac, then WBKE. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just, it, it, that's what I want. That's, that's the, I get a high from that. That's mm -hmm. my high. That's what I get a high from, seeing that. Seeing you guys sit behind the, the, the table or, you know, sit in front of the camera and express yourself. And, and I can mm -hmm. see how you guys grow and mm -hmm. expand. I get a high from that. I love when guests come in and the guests are thanking me. Wow, what a nice play. Mm -hmm. This was beautiful. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I love that. That's, what I, that's why we do it. That's what we do. They're not going to stop anytime soon, y'all. They show no signs of slowing up. Because I oh. kid you not, I started in September. We started downtown Fremont. We are off the strip now. We have moved. We, I can't even explain to you what's going on right now. But every time I come in, I'm like, so what I miss? Literally, if I'm off for three or four days or something, which I don't do too often. But if I am, I'm like... What's new? So after after TV and media is what do you have planned? Ooh, is that a secret? Is it a secret right now? Are you like what y'all got cooking in growth, there? Growth. Um, it, again, the, one of the original ideas that we had, we would love to put a WBKE um, in every city. 
That'd be awesome. Basically, you know, WK California, WK Seattle, and give people in those inner cities or in that city in particular uh, avenue to be a voice. Dang. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't walk into their regular to their FM station and say, "Hey, can I be on the radio?" Yeah, they can't do true. that. But you could you could do that here. Build up your build up your following, build up your listenership, and then eventually be picked up by someone else. Mm -hmm. Look at all these people right now who are celebrities now. I mean. Mm -hmm. Actual celebrities hate being called celebrities yeah. because, you know, the Denzels and the Lawrence Fishburns and those people, they don't like that word anymore because you have average folks who are, who are now celebrities. Why? Because they have followers, because they have listeners. But the, the common denominator, they have an expression that they have put out there right. that got accepted by people. Mm -hmm. and, and they love it. And, and that's the beautiful, beautiful part of it. So and that's why. It. Yeah, I love it. So are you thinking of getting a show? Um, yes, it is something I have thought about, but you know, running several radio stations and now this TV, it, it's a lot of time. I wanted to know when you was going to get a jacket for that. What? I just wanted to know if you had a jacket already for a show, because you have all these hats. So that's got to uh, be a jacket. Yes, yes, yes. Like okay. a little throw up. It's got to be a jacket. The thing is, I don't know if the world is ready for all of this. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I, yo, the one thing you will find out about... He's, about, all, he's but, a character, y'all. Character, <laughs> whatever, see. but I am the bomb. He okay? comes in on Tuesdays. I am the bomb. <laughs> you know he's the boss on Tuesdays, so he comes to my show. I'm the bomb. No, um, definitely, I definitely think that um, you got to set an example. Yeah. And I would love to set an example and, and show you guys, show myself what, I, what I'm capable of doing and stuff. And I think I got, I think I got some good opinions on good ideas on good things that I think I could bring out um, that people will want to hear and you know of course to, and having a team behind you to support it having Back a team, it all up. that's what it's all about having Back a team having a unfortunately right now we have the other half of the team who's been selfish because she's hanging out with her grandkids and he's over here with the face. I can't even see his face, but he's probably like, that's where I'd like to be right now. Oh, if <laughs> you see them. You see them. Y'all have to see it. They're so adorable. They're so adorable. I, I'm just thinking one day I'm going to just come over. I'm just, they just, we just going to leave with our grandkids. You going to leave the station to me? I can run the station. Oh, yeah. No okay. Problem. No problem. Not. That's why you're too. That's why you're too. Now, the grandkids might not be happy like that. Who's that? Why is she up in our spot now? Nah, you know, they might not be happy, but no. Um, yeah, no, nah, that's, uh, I mean, wow. That's, you know, somebody asked me the other day, um, I don't recall who it was, but somebody asked me, they said, you know, do you feel you kind of made it or something, something to that effect? And, um, or are you content? It had something to kind of do with financial, like, you know, do you feel you made it? Are you there yet? Do you feel you reach it? And I would say, as from a business perspective, mm -hmm. no, of right. course not, you know. Um, I'm not there yet. My wife and I are not there yet. Our goal hasn't been reached business-wise to say that we have achieved our goal. We have not done that yet. Shit, I haven't taken a vacation, so definitely <laughs> yeah, I haven't yeah, achieved man. my goal. But um, in my life, I, I feel I'm already successful. Yeah. Um, because I have three beautiful kids, and they all, you know, my, my youngest is 17. He's about to turn 18 January. So basically, my wife and I are practically done. You know, you're never done being a parent. Right, but as far right. as them living under your roof in that house, they're practically now adults, mm -hmm. young adults moving out. And so, you know, so we kind of did that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, we worked for other people during that whole transition. But we, we did it, and we took care of our kids, and we gave them a right. good upbringing. And, you know, right now we're actually thinking about downsizing our home for next year and stuff like that. So, and then now I got two beautiful grandkids. I, I, don't, know, that. I don't know how you're downsizing. Sorry I had to interrupt that. I don't know how this happened with grandkids. With grandkids? Yeah, I don't know how you're going to downsize a grandkids. Well, because everybody sleeps on a couch. The grandkids not sleep the, on the, the couch? No, the grandkids <laughs> sleep in between. <laughs> uh, well, we'll be right back. we got to pay a few more bills, so don't go too far away. It's your girl, Cat with Vladimir Toussaint from WBKE Vegas Radio. You are back with your girl Kat right now on Sin City Heat WBKE Media TV right now. And I got De La Vega next to me. We're, we're going to take him off Tucson right now. We're on De La Vega. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Hold on. You said De La Vega. Yeah. We got Vladimir De La Vega in the studio. What's up, Vlad? What up? Ah! What up? What up? So what you been up to today, Mr. De La Vega? Oh, shit. I can't tell you what I've been up to because my wife might watch this video. And sucky sucky now. And she's going to. a crazy day. <laughs> That was a crazy day. Let's just say I had booty all over the place. A lot of booty or a little booty? No, a lot of booty. Was it juicy booties, hard booties, soft uh, booties? That, that I'm not going to answer because okay. I didn't touch anything. Well, you so can I look. You can't tell from looking. We just talked um, about this with Nicki Minaj. 
Was it a hard looking booty or a soft looking booty? Soft looking booty. Soft looking. And now you got me imagining the booty. Sorry, honey. Soft looking booty. Soft looking booty. <laughs> this is this is De La Vega. Hey, yeah, this, this is De La Vega. Vega. This is De La Vega. Husband. This is not yeah, me. Yeah, this ain't your husband. This all right. is not him. This is not him. Chill. So he's Relax like, now. Oh, he took his meds. You took your meds? No, I'm trying to get some. De La Vega takes meds. <laughs> yes, I take meds, folks. Y'all you know, know what meds I'm talking about. So what yeah. you got going on today? What you doing tonight? Tonight? Yeah, what you doing? Um, De La Vega. De La Vega. Yeah, De La Vega just roams that strip. Mm, what's your favorite place on the strip? The streets. Oh. The streets. The streets on the strip. What? Okay, so you know for those who are watching, the strip uh -huh. is one block, Las Vegas Boulevard. We have um, streets starting at Russell, Tropicana, Flamingo, mm -hmm. Spring Mountain, and Sahara. What's your favorite side? My favorite side? Yeah, what's your favorite side? Which block is your favorite block? Well, Vegas Boulevard. <sighs> Damn. What's Caesars and Bellagio in between? That's you? Because the Caesars, that's Flamingo. That's Flamingo. That's Flamingo by the, by the Dre's nightclub. Shout out to Dre's, by the by way. By the Dre's nightclub. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like I like that section. Me too. I like but on that, that side? On the Caesar side? Yeah. The Caesar Palace side. Yeah, you like that side? I like that. Let me tell you. I like that side. So this is true. Because my wife and I, when we first got here, we walked the strip a uh -huh. lot, right? Uh-huh. This side is the rich side. Which the side? The Caesar and Bellagio uh -huh. side. When you walk on that side, it's the rich side. <laughs> like, you get good the smells. Waterfalls. The waterfalls. <laughs> on the other side, right? You yeah, cross you the street. You're doing to that. get a little hood. Oh, my God. You gotta get a little hood. It's like, you get a little hood. You, the smells be killing me. Yeah, First the sewers from all the buffets. You, you get a woman and a, a husband or, a, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, who don't matter, smelling real good. Then you turn around and there's a bump. And it's like, oh, Lord. <laughs> then you walk a two more steps, then there's the alcoholic. Yep. And then you got all the cigar smells and stuff. It's like, that other side is so... So it's like different. bougie across the street by the Bellagio series. I think and then so. across by Valleys and Drays, it's kind of like... Little yeah, hood, little yeah, bit. I feel that. Do you little, not get that? Little, little um, projecty. Huh. Yeah, I say certain parts because yeah. they they have a part now that um, I forgot what cross street. I look at that as the Sahara side. Like when you're down by Circus Circus, that looks like the hood too. Oh, so, yeah, it's all that's, nice and yeah, dark yeah, and gloomy. Yeah, it's not enough yeah. light. Y'all lights work. Do they yeah, pay the Sahara bills side. over there. Even when the lights are, it's still <laughs> yeah. a little gloomy. Like you can still get robbed and raped out there on this side. Yeah, that side is not. But isn't that considered Old Vegas, where the Sahara side is, um, like Circus Circus? Wasn't yes. that where Old Vegas was? Yes, and so yeah. every all the other stuff has been done, redone already. Yeah, that's So that's they're coming up. But I don't think Circus Circus is going to last that much long. They're going to redo it. You, you, it needs to be redone. Yeah, they did it, the it, rooms, really remodeled, that kind of thing, but nah, they need to redo that. You're not hoping that they change the name, right? No, I take the name still. Yeah, I don't I even like know why that's the name. I think it's because it's a big circus playhouse. It looks like a circus for those of you who are watching and yes, it wondering does. what's it look like. Looks like there's clowns hanging out, but it's not. <laughs> but it looks like Trust me, there's no clowns, because if there was, I wouldn't go there. I can't stand it. You're afraid of clowns? They love Vegas. Afraid of clowns. Ooh. Yep, I do not like clowns. Put this one in my books. I need to keep this one. I do not like books. clowns at all. Yep. So that's all I gotta do if you get to act in a little during my show. They're black. So is Vlad a flavor of clowns too? Or just Vlad, yeah, Vlad, the whole cool. damn family. Cool. Okay, okay. I just yeah. need to make no, sure. I don't mess with clowns. I don't so like that stuff. basically, what he just said is. I might give me some free shows out of this because I'm going to put a clown at the door. Oh, no. You, you, you get a total different reaction. Station be closed. WBK be moved. It be WBK Lots of doors. It be WBK Australia. Okay? Come find me. No, I don't deal with I, that. No clowns. Yeah, I don't and deal with that. And why is that? What's the, what's I the, really what's don't the story know behind where, that? I really don't know where it came from. I'll be honest. I really don't know where it came from. I'm not... Other thing that I'm fearful is heights. That's, that's, really? that's the thing. I, I don't no like roller heights. coasters? I don't do roller coasters. Okay. Now, I have done roller coasters. I have done the um, Ferris wheels mm -hmm. and stuff like that when I was younger. I'm still up there shitting bricks, um, <laughs> you know, scared. Um, but I don't, for some reason, I don't like clowns. I'll be honest. I think it falls in line with, I don't even like women who wears a lot of makeup. Really? They don't like clowns? They, they do that No, I don't say they look like clowns. I just... I just don't like a lot of women that wear makeup. So I think it's the whole makeup thing for me. It, it's like, it was nothing I ever liked. Um, one time my wife, we had these photographer folks that lived next door to us and they wanted to take pictures mm -hmm. of, of me and my wife. And so um, so the, the wife, the, the husband was the cameraman, the wife was the makeup artist. Mm -hmm. So she put makeup on my wife and my wife's name Peggy, by the way. So Peggy comes out the bathroom with this makeup on 
and she looked like a damn dead person to me. Like the way the make right. the makeup was caked on uh -huh. her face, she looked like she looked like she was dead. Okay. Uh huh. The pictures came out beautifully. So I. So you had it's like hidden it. Yeah, I, I figured makeup. You know, when you're taking pictures and doing stuff like mm -hmm. that, it works out perfect because these this couple really knew what they were doing. They showed us that with the photos. But when I'm looking at her like this, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, what a That's turn off. This is not happening. But pictures, I was like, Jesus Christ, it's not the same thing. So I, I believe it has its place, but me, I'm not for the makeup stuff. Well, I need to get a copy of those pictures so I can see what they look like. I'm sure you didn't take a picture while she was there. So, Who, me? Yeah, did you take a picture while she was there? What, in, doing in the person? makeup? Yeah, do, after she came to you in person? No pictures? Um, No, there is pictures. It was a, a okay. picture thing, but it so was kind I need of... Those. It was kind of... Uh, risque? Risque. Oh, no, yeah, risque. we'll be back. We gotta pay some bills. I gotta talk to him about these risque photos. So don't go too far away. It is Sin City here with your girl, Kat. And right now, I got De La Vega in the studio with me right now. De La Vega, dog! Gotta pay some bills. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, it's your girl Kat with Sin City Heat on WBKE Vegas Radio, and we're about to get out of here. Um, Vladimir, thank you for coming in, Mr. Toussaint de la Vega. He had to fly out of here. You know, when you run businesses, multiple businesses, you might not even get to say goodbye, but that's what happens with businessmen. But you guys have a nice night, and tune in next time.